Hi, this is Mark for Chef from Georgetown County School District, and uh, I wanted to show you a very useful um, Google add-on that you can use. We've had a lot of teachers lately um, interested in using Google Forms uh, as a multiple choice um, test or assessment, and um, I'm going to show you right now how you can take a, an old test um, in Word, and I'm going to open this sample up that I've got, U.S. History Quiz. And you'll notice that uh, inside this old quiz that was in Microsoft Word, um, it is formatted um, in ABC, you know, multiple choice format um, and numbered. And again, just with formatting, it's done correctly. And I believe there are 14 questions on this sample quiz. So I want to go ahead and take this quiz um, that I had in Word, and I want it to... Uh, go ahead and populate into a Google form. It's actually uh, quite simple if once again everything was set up originally um, and formatted correctly. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to close this Word document and I'm going to go to my Google Drive and inside my drive I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to upload that file. So I'm just going to grab that Word document um, and upload it again right into my Google Drive. You can see it's as a Word document here. So all I'm going to do is convert it to a Google Doc. I'm going to right click and hit open with Google Docs. And then the conversion has automatically been done. So my Word document is now a Google Doc. Um, again, you can see those questions. The formatting stayed pretty consistent. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I want to take this Google Doc and um, again I want to convert it into a Google form. So all you need to do is come up here to add-ons and um, there is an add-on called Forminate. If you are not familiar with add-ons all you're going to do is click on add-on come down here to get add-ons and then search for Forminate and you're going to go ahead and uh, install Forminate. Once it's installed into one of your Google Docs, um, it will appear in all of your Google Docs. So I've already installed it. So again, I'm just going to choose add-ons, come down here to Forminate, and I'm going to click Start. You'll notice um, right over here on the right, this screen pops up. Um, again, I'm going to leave this blank because I want this to be called U.S. History Quiz 14 Question. If I wanted to rename it, I'd just simply type in a different name there. Um, I am going to require a login for this and collect email addresses. So again, I'm just going to leave those the same. Um, and I could limit this to one response as well if I only wanted students to take it once. Um, after that, I'm just going to come down here to Formate. And in a couple seconds, depending on how fast your internet is working, um, you'll see that it is going to automatically create this into a Google Form. So if I want to go ahead and preview that form, I can just click on Preview Form, and voila, you will see all 14 of those questions have been populated um, into a Google Form. There they are. Um, so again, you know, if you wanted to get um, go the next step, you could go ahead in Google Forms, um, you could edit the form, and then um, put in the correct answers, so that way it would grade it for you already. You can check that video out um, as well on our YouTube channel of how to go ahead and um, use Google Grader. So good luck using Forminate and hopefully it saves you a ton of time. Um, good luck.